Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel. And today I'm going to show you how to create a repeat pattern. For example, you can see this pattern on your shirt or some fabric stuff like curtains, bedclothes or something else for home or on any stuff what needs pattern. And if you're interested how to create that repeat pattern, then keep watching. Let's start the tutorial, guys, but at first small change. Now vector I file with colors and original design of the tutorial available only on my Patreon. A subscription to my Patreon costs only $1 per month and now all tutorial files will be only here. You can subscribe and unsubscribe at any time. I made this decision because very often people began to steal the original files of my tutorials and pass them off as their own, sell them on stocks and put them in their portfolio. I put the lowest price at $1. For those who really want to study, it's not at all expensive, but those who steal my designs will stop stealing them. And now let's start the tutorial. At first, let's move those colors to the swatch panel. Select the colors, go to the swatch panel, press the icon with three lines, new color group, OK. Ok, here it is our colors and now let's start. Select that color and ellipse tool, draw the ellipse like this. Now go to object path, offset path, minus 15, ok. Select white color, now object path, offset path, minus 10, ok. Select red color. Now select a rectangle tool and we need to cut off a half of watermelon. Select all parts and make clipping mask. Now select that dark color and ellipse tool. Draw the shape like this. Go to effect, 3D start. And here we need to move those points like that. OK. Now object, expand appearance. Make the shape smaller. Move here. Hold ODD and make as many copies as you like. Like this. And of course you can move that shapes till you'd like it. Ok, it's ready. Now select direct selection tool and move this point to the right and this point to the left. Select the watermelon, make it smaller and move it here for a while. Now select that orange color and ellipse tool, draw the shape like this, select direct selection tool and now let's play with the shape. It's our future pineapple. pineapple. Ok, now again 3D start and play with points here. Ok, object, expand appearance. Now select free transform tool, that option and make the down part a little wider. Now a little longer our shape and 
eigenplate with points with help of direct selection tool till you'd like the shape. Okay, I think I need it make a little longer. Yep. Now I like it. Now select that green color and ellipse tool. Draw here the leaf, the shape like that. Move up and now let's play with leaves. Now we need the darkest green color and draw here with help of pen tool like triangle. Move this point with help of direct selection tool to the center, select the whole leaf and send it back. Now sele select again and group it. Now hold ALT and make the copy, rotate it, move down. Now one more copy with the help of ALT and move it here. OK. Now select these two shapes, transform, reflect, vertical copy and move here. OK. Now let's play with leaves. Select them all, make them smaller, move them up. OK, these two need to send back. This one need to send in front. Select all leaves and send them back. OK. Now select uh, that one, effect, warp, flag and here vertical and play here with options till you'd like it object expand appearance the same with the leaf warp flag and play with options here like that or like this you can play here OK. Object expand appearance. Move and play with the leaves. OK. I think it's pretty. Make the smaller all leaves, group them. OK. Let's look. I want to play a little with leaves, make them smaller and a little longer like that. Now select light yellow color brush tool, uh, that brush and we need that color only in stroke and draw here three lines like that and three lines like this. Okay and now let's move them as you like. I think now it's pretty. Now select all uh, lines like this and go to uh, object expand appearance. Copy and paste the dark orange shape, bring it to front, select all that shapes without leaves and make clipping mask. Great, the pineapple is ready. Let's select it, make it a little smaller. You can rotate it, but now it's not necessary. Group the watermelon and group the pineapple. Okay. Now let's Open the photo of tropical leaf, file, place, select the leaf, place and hold and drag. Now window, image, trace, here preview and let's play with slider like that. Now object expand ok you need to ungroup um, ungroup the leaf delete white part and 
work on the black part, select that color for the leaf, ok, and rotate it, move here, now rotate more, ok, now select dark color and polygon tool and draw polygon like this. Now go to Effect, Parker and Blurred and here play with options. You see now it's flower. Ok, Object, Expand Appearance. Now um, select that color and Ellipse tool. Draw the small ellipse and move it to the center of the flower. Select All and Group. Now Effect warp, flag and the same play with options till you'd like it. Ok, object expand appearance. Now move, uh, make the flower smaller and move here. And uh, the last one, we need to create small ellipse here with dark color, go to symbols, plus, and here ok, here it is our new symbol, delete that one, and select uh, that tool, and just spray our tool, and just spray the points. Ok. Our shapes are ready. Now let's move them. Make them smaller. Rotate the watermelon. And well guys, you can uh, play with the both shapes as you like. It's my vision you will have your own vision. Ok, now select all shapes. Go to object, pattern, make. Ok, here you see pattern options. You can play with these options as you like. You see, then you change the options here. The direction of pattern is changed. Ok, well, I think I select that one, um, better that one. What you can make more, you can change width and height, like this. I like it. And as well, you can move all parts, your pattern, till you'd like it, you see, then I move the part inside the square, all parts of the pattern are moving together. Ok, I think those options I like more. Now go to here and press done. Ok. Here it is our pattern. Now let's select those parts and move them here. Select that color for the background. And rectangle tool, draw a uh, hold shift and draw the square. Now create one more square, 1000 to 1000. And now just select the pattern. Ok, look, you can make it wider, longer, shorter, as you like. As well, you can select any shape, for example, ellipse tool and draw the, the ellipse with this pattern or star tool. 
or for example uh, polygon tool or any shapes or any shape you'd like to see so delete these shapes let's make the pattern the square shape you can always edit the pattern double click to the pattern here it is our option panel and for example uh, select direct selection tool select red color and you want to make that color for example mm, i think like that okay and you see all watermelons are changed now here you want to make black color you see all leaves are became black okay done and here it is our new pattern if you don't like it you always can undo action press ctrl z ctrl z okay guys and here it is our original pattern and we created the repeat summer pattern okay guys that's all for today hope you like my tutorial if yes give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials in adobe illustrator or in the next videos about graphic design bye bye guys Mwah.